Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith and we are playing Discworld. So in the previous episode we've been searching around trying to collect things, not quite in a direction that I quite understand yet, but we seem to be collecting gold. We're trying to fire prove ourselves a man, and this uh, house of negotiable affection seems like the place. We were, uh, found a uh, scrawling in the bathroom that told us to speak to Big Sally. And Big Sally is this one here. She's asked us to bring her milk, eggs, and flour. And I believe we have milk. We got that. Let's shake it down into her. We've got an egg. That should be good. Starch, corn flour. There's our flour. There it is. That should be good. Let's see what she gives us. Hopefully, this will give us what we need to become a man. <laughs> Doing something. Good grief! Now look. I don't know about this. What is that? Hmm. Oh. My word. Mm. Uh. It's a bowl of custard. Didn't you like it? A bowl of custard? That's your special, making custard? Why not? I can't imagine what assumptions you've been making. I'm a woman of many parts. My old granny used to say that good kissing only lasts five minutes, but good cookery lasts for years. Many's the man who slips in here for a bowl of custard he can't get at home. It's Will you wrong. stop smirking like that? Hey, it's great. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Better than my granny's. And now I'm going to have a bath. It's messy work making good custard. The best thing about being a wizard is that you're not allowed any, uh, you know, but you can have as much custard as you like. And I got her panties for pantaloons. Hmm. <laughs> These are either patent elephant cozies or a pair of bloomers. I've forgotten which. By the way, let's take all this back and speak to the street starfish during the day. Alright, so now let's give him the bloomers. I'm alive! Now what's this handshake then? It's easy. You do this, then this, then this. Just practice on those three old codgers over there. Okay. No, oh, and, and all right. <laughs> <laughs> I had a ball. <laughs> and we've got a new ability. Now, I think. This is what's been preventing us from being able to speak to the shade. So let's go ahead and speak or speak to this uh, Freemason. We got to prove to him we are able to take his stuff or deserving of his stuff. I think that's what this is. So if I go and give him the handshake. It proves we are man. Hey, just what I wanted. Not sure that's what he needed, but we got that one, so that's good. A heavily padded bra. And let's use that on the ladder to make it quieter to get into this room where this person is sleeping. heavily padded like he said so that should give us what we need where's this there you are I was like where's my luggage luggage takes forever to get here sometimes quietly that doesn't work crossover and there he is oh 
come on. Well, at least someone's getting some kit round here. Can't talk to him. Cartoon style, let's tickle him over. There we go. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> now, uh, I had to check it out to find out, but I think I know what I got to do with the with Chucky. Uh, the the um, fool has his own entire room full of stuff, but he's definitely one of the other members. So combining all these members, it seems that we're getting gold from each and every one of them. I think it must have something to do with in the book, but the book didn't seem to tell us anything like that. So I'm not 100% why we'd be doing it yet, but I'm sure it'll make sense as we go. So let's go ahead and try to get this jester to take a bath. And of course, they're still here. Well, how about this ink blot. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Okay, let's try it on the other one. Well, I suppose neither of you wants to see. That's right. Oh, wait a minute. See what? Well, I just wondered what you gentlemen might make out of this. It's a chocolate blancmange. No, no, it's it's oftenly familiar though. Uh, not a not a oh, hippo, really? is it? Hmm? Uh, no, 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 not a hippo. Uh, a lard pudding. So it. I know. It's your wife. My wife is not fat. <laughs> well, as long as that keeps on working as a method to get back and forth. <laughs> Alright. I do have a bucket of trash, so I'm thinking maybe that's what I need to do. Bring your luggage. Let me get that trash out. That doesn't work. Not on Chucky, but on the fool. <laughs> There you go. Chucky's dirty. Chucky, one bath! One bath! Practical criticism always speaks more loudly than words. It does. You criticize like that. Alright. Which is why this is no surprise. The hedgehog couldn't be buggered. Chucky power! Mra power at last! Chucky power! Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Mra, I was born for world domination, Chucky! Mra, now they'll have to laugh! Mra, comedy will be compulsory! Spontaneous hilarity will be timetabled three times per day! Everyone will laugh until they drop! A golden age, Chucky! A golden age! Oh, Chucky, Chucky! Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Okay. Let's take his cap. Oh, Chucky saw a wizard. Chucky, 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 Chuck. Quiet. Shh. Wizard alert. Wizard alert. Shut up. Look, will you just shut up? Chucky see. Chucky scream. Chucky see, Chucky scream. Let's see if we can bubble him up. That doesn't work. Yeah, now you see nothing. Ow! That doesn't work. Now, there's no other reason to be in here, but maybe we gotta figure out, we gotta find something from I think every member of the group. I thought that the fishmonger and the trial guy were two completely different people, but I'm, maybe they're the same. Maybe I just didn't see it because the others, I saw them from the back. So, either way, we're collecting gold from people, that's all I know. Now, the only place we haven't retrieved something from is back in the alleys. I think one of the people in the alley, I heard his voice in there. I want to say it was like, because uh, they're all low position people too at that. So, I'm guessing it's more than likely the... Uh, Oh, where are we going? Library stable? Alleyway, there it is. Um, I'm guessing that it either has to be the alchemist 
for the chimney sweep. Hi, good morning, Jimmy. Yeah, that was Fine day for it. For what? Oh, for whatever innocent folk like we can find to do up here on the rooftops. Have you ever fallen down? Oh, yes. Or oh, tons of times. Well, if you don't want a repeat performance, try shutting up. Ah, the day is coming when people <laughs> like you will have to look up to folk like me. Probably easiest from the ground, See? then. What? Looking up at he you, I mean, like probably easiest when coming. done from the ground. Actually, I, I think I might... Just get in as little looking up at you right now, in fact. I'll just go down to street level in a quiet, orderly fashion then, shall I? Gold, eh? Hmm. Yeah, another golden brush. Chimneys. Ah, the march of technology is a fine thing. So let's give this guy a bit of work. Oh, shoot. You know what? I didn't even grab it before I went. we got to put something in this chimney, but I don't have anything to put in here. So let's go down back to the street level and... Get, uh, is it here? No, it's up here. And grab that doll. Nice little fat doll to put in there. It's a doll of the jolly old Hogfather. This Hogfather doll is the fattest thing there is. That would fit in a hole like that. That's my logic behind it. It's a bit of main logic in the game that takes a while to figure out. You have to stop it and continuously repeating that sequence of bringing the right item up here with you because your inventory can't come with you. There's no real indication. So it's one of them puzzles where it's like, why would I even want to do this other than to make his job harder? Smoke the place out. Which theoretically, well, that gets him out of there, so now I can actually go and work, but we've got to also try to deal with him. So now that we've got the alchemist out of his spot. Okay, now let's go ahead and put some explosives in here. We'll blow this guy away. Just gonna pop that in the fireplace. Pass out. Need light? Oh, oh no, thanks. I've already got one. This all takes some effort, you know. I'm putting myself out just for you when there are thousands of other things I could be doing. <laughs> Do I see any gratitude? I don't think so. Just stop following me, will you? I hope you realize I'm working my fingers to the bone. It's a skeleton. Bone. All right, let's make a fuse for this thing. That's the only thing we've got. What are you doing, buddy? And let's light this fuse with our smatches. That doesn't work. Uh, is there a point on the screen where I'm doing that? Light the cake. That doesn't work. Oh, there he is. He's in the way. Maybe it's outside. Gotta make it safe and long enough for us to do the job. Yeah. Oh, oh. 
And boom. That is a golden broom. We have all the things I believe we need made of gold. Everyone who is a piece of this thing information for I believe. I have absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. So let's take all this stuff back to the dragon. Hopefully we'll be able to help the dragon lose its influence from them. Alright, dragon. I believe you have everything you need. Just waiting for my luggage to get here. Here's the tooth of the Dunnyman. Excellent. You're doing quite well for a soft skin. Thanks. Well, back to work. Here is the belt that of, doesn't... The, of the fishmonger. Excellent. You're doing quite Thanks. well. Thanks. We've got the trowel of the wall man. The guy makes the walls. So Excellent. Mason. You're doing Thanks. well. Back to We've got the key, the skeleton key used by the thief to break into places. Excellent. You're doing quite well for a soft skin. Thanks. Well. And lastly, the cap, or well, not even lastly, the cap of the jester. Excellent. You're doing quite well for a soft. Thanks. Well. And lastly, lastly, the brush. Ah, now I have them. Finally, I am free. Good. Well, you'll be off now, I suppose. <laughs> you know, back home to the old dimension. Home comforts, put your tail up and relax. Never. Now it is time to wreak my revenge upon this miserable world. First, I shall deal with the members of the Brotherhood, the and then I shall come back for you. Me? But I wasn't even a part of it. You were there? Yes, but... Don't make any plans for the evening. Okay. Well, we technically were there, but only in the respect that we needed to be able to help out. Head back into the square and see if anything changes. Every time I do a major event, this place seems to change, or any kind of event for that matter, this place seems to change. Look, I knew the business. Oh dear, it's Nanny Og. Now let's try to keep quite calm about this, shall we? Please. This has to be the mangiest magic carpet I've ever seen. Hello, nice Nanny day for Og. selling your wares. I, uh, I mean your, your conversation produce. Thing. Times are not so great, though. The bottom has fallen out of the magic balm and lotion market. Everybody wants those new age fangled thingamies, you know, crystals and the like. I don't know what's happened to the world. Where have all the old values gone? How's the cutest witch in town today? Go on, you're pulling my leg, love, so you are. How could you tell? Then again, there's no harm in hoping, is there? Ooh, give us a kiss, love. Just a little one. Eek. Oh, oh eh. no thanks, I'll pass. <laughs> that doesn't work. No. That doesn't work. This has to be the mangiest magic carpet I've ever seen. Magic carpet. So, you finally got your vending permit. Sure did, dearie. Wound that old patrician round me little what a name, so I did. What interesting and magical items do you have for the weary adventurer? Well, how about this magic carpet? Low mileage, only one owner. A little old lady who took it out once a week for a spin to the market. Look at that decor, all the trimmings. More like all the frayings by the look of it. Come on now, sweetie, do you want it or not? Well, OK then. Nice. <laughs> Just give it to me, that's nice. That doesn't work. I am not... Yes, it's a witchy stall, all right. Sounds... Oh, What's is. this, then? Definitive Tome of Custard Compoundment? How much do you want for your Love Potion Custard Recipe book? Sorry, love, I could never part with that. It's my precious, so it is. Hmm. Stop it! Don't look at me like that! I can't help it, my love. You're such a little sweetie. Oh! 
How's the cutest witch in town today? Go on, you're pulling my Very leg, love, so you you are. How could you tell? Then again, there's no harm in hoping, is there? Oh, give us a kiss, love. Just a little one. Eek. Oh, no thanks, I'll pass. Yoink. My book now. The Secrets of Forbidden Confectionery, Volume 3, Love Custard for Beginners. Hey, when you get the full set of these, you get a handsome ring binder too. Now, we have a book. A book that could easily replace the book that is there in the library that the thief steals every night. So let's go back to L Space, switch these two out. I believe that should stop the dragon from ever being brought in in the first place. Now, we'll just take this book. I did a little quick. Switch their covers. There we go. Recogli Mintos never f hmm? Oh, there's no book there. I fucked that up. The Secrets of Forbidden Confectionery, Volume 3, Love Custard for Beginners. Hmm? Oh, let's not be silly. Okay, we've already got it. Okay, cool, let's put this back in its empty place. Recogli Minto's never failing. Hey, I believe that's all we gotta do. I didn't do it quick Look. enough. Yes, there we go. So you should steal the correct book now. Because the wrong book was in place to push me back. There we go. Hist! Hail, brother door opener. Doorkeeper! Opener, keeper, what's it matter? Well, I don't have to open it to just anybody who turns up. You could be a spy. A spy? Well, it's a possibility. You could be a very clever spy wearing a very effective disguise. Open the blasted door. What's the password? Like All right. Lean closer. It's... Spoons. Swordfish. Right? No. What? You didn't say Simon Says. Open the door or I'll kill you. Ah, the other password. <sighs> it's a brutal thief. Hail, brothers! Hail! 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 Yay, right! Hail! Once again, we elucidated brethren of the sword are met. Once again, we shall weave the webs of power. If we know now that it is our destiny to rule this city. Ooh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. Chucky, Chucky. Hail! Yes. Once I thought it was my destiny to build a papier mache dinosaur in my bedroom. And then I thought it was my destiny to win the men's overland saxophone championships. But now <laughs> I know, I it's finally know that it is my destiny to rule Ank Morpork. Here, what about us then? A marine company with these, my loyal lack of the, um, loyal comrades. A new age shall dawn, my friends. Hail! An age of power and majesty. Hail! An age of freedom without indoor plumbing and the job losses it entails. Hail! Mm. A world where a man can carry out his legitimate wealth redistribution business without worrying about quotas. Hail! Where him. cheap replastering will be outlawed in favour of major structural reinforcement. Yay! A place where low mackerel sales will be a thing of the past. And compulsory smoke through cleanliness will be yeah, rigorously enforced. Hail! Brother Brigwit, Brother Broom, bring the tome. Now, for the spell of power, I'm gonna bring out the components of the potion, Brother Lightfinger. Yes, Brother Chuckles. Oh, the dark spirits of the universe. 
with this bowl we do consecrate and uh, and so forth. Except now these um, these uh, eggs, eggs, and this measure of corn flour. Are you sure? As we consign the potion to the flames, the boy exactly blaze and bubble. Wait, it says here to simmer at low temperature for fifteen minutes. Good grief! What the hell's going on? What exactly are we making? Making some delicious custard. <laughs> Have I ever told you how attractive I find you? Oh, Chucky, Chucky! Love custard at that. Ooh, this is gonna be a nasty, sticky orgy. Zoom. <laughs> right into the offices. I have triumphed. Goodness overcomes evil once again. The land is liberated. The serpent is gone. The dragon is dead. The dragon is dead. I killed him. Me. I shall humbly submit to whatever fabulous rewards you feel I deserve. Dragon? Don't be ridiculous. Dragons don't exist. What? Quite so. And since no one have. believes in them, we can hardly reward you for disposing of one. Next. Hey, here, wait a minute. I slew a dragon. A real, bona fide, verifiable dragon. They Did don't exist. Yes, they do. No, they don't. 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 Yes, they do. Do, 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 do and do. No, they don't. They do. They exist if you believe in them. Ah, but no one believes in them. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Excuse me. Thank you so very, very much. They do. No, they don't. They do, they do, they do. Dragons, you know, huge, vile, evil, stenchful, slavering. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sounds like you believe in dragons and stuff. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> oh, well, when I say believe, of course, I meant mm, had heard rumours, unsubstantiated. Didn't slay it very well, did we? Yes, well, now I'm back. There's a few matters to attend to. Ah, oh, sorry about the, uh, the slavering thing. A bit uncalled for, really. Yes, I'll deal with you later. You summoned it, you get rid of it. Well, here we go again. <laughs> and that leads us to Act Three. You're all guards, custodians of the law, gods help us. What do you think makes a hero? Well, a true hero doesn't know he's a hero, does he? I mean, I'm gonna go all... ahead and skip this conversation. So if I had a birth funny team. I'm gonna skip all of that real quick. Because I can load back on the next episode to go through that sequence and we'll lead into this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here so we don't know exactly what the hell that last screen was all about. But we're going to go into the next sequence, and hopefully you guys have been enjoying this as we begin uh, properly Act 3 in the next episode of Discworld. Have a great day. Oh, hey. I see that you guys are done with this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, you can see another one over here on the right-hand side. And, of course, we've also got one on the left as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.